Battle of Nations is right around the corner and I find myself in a very familiar situation. You see, this time last year, I was Los Bassman's first undisputed wrestler's own title defence following his win at Aubrey and Anarchy. And this year I find myself in that very same spot. Only this time, I am Killer Vahala's first undisputed wrestler's own title defence following his win at Aberdeen and Anarchy. Now, while it may be well known that Kayla Valhalla and Lost by Aspen are very good friends, they're tag team partners, it might not be as well known that myself and Caleb, we're also very good friends. The difference being that while Lost by Aspen was hesitant to go into battle with Caleb Valhalla this year at Aberdeen Anarchy, me and Caleb, we have absolutely no problem fighting each other. We have absolutely no issue beating the hell out of each other, and then going for a few beers afterwards, still being very good friends. Now me and Caleb, we've traded wins back and forth these past few years, so I am well aware of how tough Caleb is. The thing is, there's usually been a third wheel in those matches. At Battle of Nations this year, there'll be no third wheel. There'll be no Zack Dynamite. There'll be no Captain Alan Sterling. There'll be no Brian Tucker. At Battle of Nations, it'll be Kayla Valla against Mickey Vago for the undisputed WrestleZone Championship. The one championship I have never held in WrestleZone. Now, I'm under no illusion about how tough a task this is going to be, especially since Caleb has vacated the Tri-Counties Championship. So his sole focus is on that undisputed WrestleZone title. But Caleb... While we can go into this match being good friends, as soon as the bell goes to start that match, I will be doing whatever it takes to take that belt from you. But I hope that whatever happens, whoever wins, after the match, we can sit down over a beer, still being good friends.